Here at the Maloon Creek Natural Farms, the living laboratory of the Maloon Institute, uh, we're not only showing that you can repair and rehydrate landscapes, but you can do it so that agriculture can not only be sustainable, it can actually be more productive. Well, it's a great cross-section of people who come to the field days. It's an opportunity to uh, show people on the ground um, what we've done, what we've achieved, uh, and what we are doing. Everybody arrives here at the barn, then we send them out. Um, one half of the group will head down to Peter's Pond to see how that pilot project was established and worked. The other group will be going up the slope a little bit to look at some of the work we've done on what we call a step diffusion section, putting in contours, planting vegetation, and then they'll swap over. We find people come along and when they get on the creek, for instance, and look and they think, ah, oh, okay, now I understand what that's about. And so that's why a field day is so important. We've actually seen journeys where people have come to a field day, often a bit skeptical, but you know, sort of interested. Next thing you know, they're wanting to come and do one of our courses. And then they'll say to us, can you help me on my property? Uh, and that's where Maloon Consulting, Contracting and Certifying um, can help there to go out and work with uh, landholders and farmers on, on their properties. The ultimate real value after being on the ground, seeing how it all works, hearing from some of the experts, then to participate in a Q&A and discussion, I think that's re really valuable. So many farmers and land managers are practical people. They want to be able to see and touch it. Maloon's been great because it's raised people's attention that there is a possibility to look after the land in a different way and to improve things, improve the water cycle particularly, and that's been a breakthrough thinking. A lot of people think it's either the environment or the economy. It is absolutely possible to have really good environmental performance and really good economic performance. In absolutely desperately dry conditions like this, there is still things to be learned. I've been involved with the Maloon Institute, Tony Coote, for the last 15 years. Tony has been a pioneer in championing this whole idea of land regeneration and of course rehydration of these biosystems. It's critically important, we must urgently rehydrate landscapes. We must rebuild the hydrological cycle for our own water security, food security, stable biosystems, but most importantly, a stable climate. It's growing the awareness it's growing the advocates for regenerative agriculture and landscape repair and rehydration. It's all part of getting, making that um, bigger and bigger across the community and making those community connections uh, and getting works started in different parts. Learn as much as you can about regenerative agriculture and see its huge implications for re returning health to a landscape, returning profits, returning human health and impacting on them planetary systems. It's, it's, it's a truly wonderful story.